Lorna Shore? Nope. Cannibal Corpse? Uh uh. Falling in Reverse? Mm. Would it shock you if I told you that the most impactful video for me of this entire year of 2022 is going to come from a little family band from Phoenix, Arizona called Halicine? Yeah, I've been warned, but I'm doing reaction anyway. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to support the channel and the merchandise store, thank you very much. In the description is the link to my Discord. Come and join the community. And of course, my twitch.tv slash oldschoolnerd. We're doing stupid stuff there almost every night. So come join us there as well. Thank you all for being here. Uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, but especially go into the description below. Halicine, all of their, uh, all their links for social media, the link to this original video, all of it's going to be in the description below. Please go subscribe to their channel. Give them a thumbs up. Show them the love because <laughs> today, as I make this video, they just announced the overturning of Roe v. Wade. <laughs> That's the level of Friday that we're having, everybody. And that's going to cause literally um, an upheaval because literally half of the country feels one way, the other half of the country feels another way. So something happened today that is literally going to make one side, half of the country happy, the other half extremely angry, and they're going to hate each other for God knows how long. I know this because Roe v. Wade has been around as long as I have. But to think that that is the second most impactful thing that I'm going to see today. I was warned about this. Um, the context of the video, the story behind the video. Um, and some of you know, my girlfriend, my partner in all this, Chelsea, maybe. Uh, uh, she kind of said, okay, are you sure? I was like, Talisine, I'm going to do it. She's like, you know, I'm like, yeah. This one hits so close to home that once I make this reaction, I got to do my best to make sure that my daughter Olivia and my daughter Megan never see it. So this goes to my daughter Megan and my daughter Olivia. Both of you, I love you. I'm your dad. If you're seeing this, Stop the video, close the window. This one's not for you. Please. I'm crying. Holy crap. It's a long story, and I'm not going to talk about it on this reaction because it, this is a reaction to their video, even though the story behind this video is something that is so close to me and the story of my kids and the struggle that occurred in the last 10 years for them. I cannot even begin to go into it, so I'm not. Hopefully, um, Addy and maybe Brad or Joe wants to talk to me about it. We might do an interview about this, but this is not the time. Just know that if I was wearing a, a pulse rate or a blood pressure monitor right now, you guys would see some triple digits. <laughs> Lots of triple digits, because this is going to get me pretty fired up. I'm going to try to focus on the music. And uh, we'll see how we get through it. This is Halicine. The song is called Repent. My name is Old School Nerd. Pray for me and hope I get through this. And you can't do how you made me. Our blood does not define us. Cause you
All right. Um, the home that I grew up in was a loving home. This did not occur in my home. I was born in a Christian home. I went to a Christian school my entire life. Never set foot in a public school. And I have lived in the church in an organized Pentecostal church for most of my life. Now I am in a non-denominational congregation. Uh, and or a lot of the religiosity of organized religion tends to turn me off. And I deal that from a Christian perspective, I don't like to talk about religion on my channel because I like to keep it open. But I will tell you about myself a little bit. I believe in a personal relationship with with God, Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever iteration of religion you have around the world, your beliefs should be a personal one with the one upon which you are committed to. So many times this fake stuff that goes through in religion where everyone um, shows up on Sunday and they pretend their life is perfect, by the way, last time I checked, you're human, your life isn't perfect, so therefore you're lying. You're committing a sin just by going to church and pretending everything is fine. Okay? Here's the problem. Addie's in a room singing, and in the room, as they're singing in this small town church where they're filming this, obviously, there's a poster on the wall called Psalms 23. And Psalms 23 is very, very famous. People don't know it as Psalms 23 for most part. They just know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Right? It's the, it's the chapter of Psalms that deals with we're sheep, we're vulnerable, we're susceptible to predators, the wolves, per se, and the Lord is your shepherd and will protect you. What happens when the protection of religion, of the church itself, turns a blind eye or the wolf is in sheep's clothing? Here's the catch. To all of the abusive dads out there, you're sinning against the Lord the second you do anything of that nature towards your family. Because even though it says in Ephesians 5, wives obey your husbands, that is like saying there is no God. Okay, There's actually a verse in the Bible that says there is no God. But you have to read the whole verse. The whole verse is, a fool hath set in his heart that there is no God. Ephesians 5 also has a very unique context. It says, wives obey your husband. And then it says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her which means you are supposed to be the head of your home from both a physical providing sense in most cases, historically being, the modern duration of society is a little changing. It's adaptable because there are homes where women are the breadwinners and the leaders in monetary means and stuff. And if it works, it works, as long as you do it in love. But the key is, is that so many times we, it occurs where manipulative people are in the church as well. Just because a person says they're a Christian doesn't mean that they're perfect. Also, if one out of every hundred people, statistically, are abusive people, how many millions of people are in the church in just the United States? So how many abusive people are there? The key is is the only way to combat it, that is to expose that. In the church that I attend, I have gravitated to a pastor and a family that the first words out of his mouth are, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to show up here on this stage in front of all of you every week and go, my life is perfect and everything I do is perfect. He says he's fallible. He says, I'm just a man. I'm just a guy. The problem is, I'm doing my best and I'm helping you. I've committed my life to helping all of you by being an earthly shepherd to kind of guide you along. And if anyone shows up at our church, you know, dressed to the nines and, and when 
the, this is something that stuck with me um, that my personal pastor has said to us many times. If you come up to him and he says, hey, how's everything going at home? And you say, perfect, it's great, my life is awesome. He'll look at you and go, are you lying? Because nobody's having perfect lives. You're human. If you lived a perfect life, why would you need God? <laughs> Think about it. The problem is in so many of these cases, the husband will sit there, shake the hands with the priest, and sometimes it's the wife too. They'll shake the hands with the priest, be this perfect example in their church, go home, and all of their junk just comes rolling out. And the problem is, is unfortunately, historically, going all the way back to my childhood and probably many years before, a wife is abused, but because she doesn't want to be that person that's spoken about and gossiped about in church, isn't it sad that a woman and children can be victimized by an abusive man, which happens. Look, I just told you, one out of every hundred people on the planet are aggressively abusive people. So that means that there's gonna, that they gonna exist in every congregation of every church, of every religion on the planet. The difference is, is that as a church, the society, the religiosity of the organization and the way everyone, the problem is the church deals in the commodity of emotion. Politics and religion, two things that do not exemplify a monetary or physical reality. It's a matter of emotional and emotional centering and they're selling emotions. Poli a politician goes up and he's, he or she starts spouting facts. They're not gonna get anywhere. But if they go up there and they start talking about things that make you emotionally pop, they're gonna get elected president. It's, it sucks, but it's true. Same thing with religion. A lot of times, people want to, they want anyone to know that they're fallible. So I challenge people, rather than seek out the biggest church in your town or the most successful people, I want to go to church where they're going because they, they look like they're happy. Why don't you find a group of people in whatever religion it is? And I'm not saying... It's whatever religion you want to be part of. Find people that understand you, that know what you're going through, that know inflation sucks. They know it's hard raising kids. They know if you find a group of people that have the same religious and be same beliefs as you do, but they also are going through the same things you're going through, isn't that a more common thread that you can share with that's the problem with religion in the last 200, 300 years is that church has become a perception of, hey, look how good I am. Well, how good are you? Because I'm a pretty good dad. At least that's what my kids tell me, my girlfriend tells me, and all my friends tell me. But I still make mistakes. The difference is, is that when I mess up, I don't cover it up by showing off my manhood and putting everybody else down like a lot of people do. And yes, there is a reason why I hope my kids never see this. And I hope I never have to tell that story. This right here makes me so angry. <sighs> Violent thoughts, man. Violent thoughts that I have to tell myself no. When I see this kind of stuff, it makes me so angry. I have to talk myself down and remember that my girls are not in that situation anymore. My girls are with me and it's now my job to show them that this here isn't real. That is not how a father is. This is not how a husband acts. That's a monster. That's a piece of crap. I'm committed to never letting them see that again. In fact, this video 
better be the only iteration of them seeing this in their lives. And that, that includes any person that they choose as their life partner. Spousal abuse, life partner abuse, child abuse, it is abuse. It shouldn't be tolerated by anyone. Yeah, it's my biggest fear. One of my biggest fears is that my daughters find a life partner that does not, that does this. Wow, this, this is hard. Man, they did a good one. Hats off to Hallocene. They've been having so much fun doing journey covers and evanescence covers and you know, look how much fun we're having and, and Addy and you know, and you watch their live streams and Joe's watching the married couple act like idiots on Twitch. And you forget to realize that these people have a deep, rich history. They have life stories, they have experiences and they're gonna share them with you. And they have no problem pulling the curtain back and going, why are we not talking about this? Why are we not confronting this? Well, we're going to do it. We're Hallocene. Let's do it. And here we go. I'm going to let this play the rest of the way. To Addy, gosh, to Joe, and even, even Brad, even Bradley. Um, wow. This is important. This is an important one. This is Spirit Box Constance level important. This is... Five finger death punch, wrong side of heaven, important. If, if we're gonna set videos to the side that talk about Alzheimer's, and we're gonna talk about um, veterans, and we're gonna talk about PTSD, and we're gonna talk about all these things, somebody's gotta make a video about this, because this is going on every day across the country, across the world. Yeah, I'm jacked up. You know I am. I'm shut up. Because the more I say, the worse it's going to get. So I'm just going to focus, which is hard for me. That, that, that awkward, oh, I can't believe I did that look in that dude's face. It's bull crap. He's just pissed off because he's probably going to get caught now. Yeah, um, 
that right there is going to stay there for the rest of me talking. And then we're going to let Addie say thank you because she always does those little outros at the end of the videos. Um, this video hits really hard for me because I just stand by. Um, and there were many times when the situation that I was involved with got so bad that I was really, really close to starting a YouTube channel in Angola State Prison. <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, this was, this was about a year a half, and a half, five years before, from five years to about a year and a half before I started uh, my YouTube channel. Um, there was some stuff going on in, in, in my life that um, I, I just, um, I was kind of powerless, but at some point it, I finally took a stand and, and now things are much, much better. Um, but yeah, there were, there were a few days when I had to be talked down to keep me from getting in a vehicle, driving somewhere and, you know, <laughs> doing some really bad things to a piece of crap. Anyway, um, so listen, uh, the domestic violence occurs, it occurs everywhere. Um, I, I said before that one out of every hundred people is an abusive personality person. And so if there's one out of a hundred, that means there's at least three million people in the United States alone that are complete a-holes and need to be checked. And that includes men, women, it doesn't matter the gender, you can be an a-hole anywhere. Anyway, remember this number, check this number. And now let's let Addie tell you what she needs to tell you to end this up. And wow, um, I just need Hallocene's next videos to be something light and fun so I can smile without shaking. I'm sweating. I am that angry. I, this, seeing this, I'm going to have to calm down. I'm going to have to go in the other room. Chelsea's going to have to hug me and tell me it's going to be okay. And then I'm going to giggle and then I'm going to move on because this, woo, <laughs> yeah. Hey everyone, I hope you liked our new song, Repent. It was our biggest venture yet. If you'd like to support us, you can check out our new shirt design. This is a long sleeve, but there's also a short sleeve version. We're going on tour in the US and Europe and almost all of the VIP tickets are gone, so get them while you still can. Hey, uh, if you're Finally, gonna be in the Houston show, come find yet, me. If you haven't checked out Patreon yet, I highly recommend you do. With the beard. We post behind the scenes of new projects I'm that we're working on and all other kinds of benefits. See you next time. Also, um, check out their, check out their uh, Patreon and also their Twitch channel. They are doing live streams all the time. And if you think they're fun and dynamic here on YouTube, they are, but that is, that is the three stooges on a Twitch show. I mean, holy crap. Okay, my name is Old School Nerd. This was Hallocene Repent. Hey, listen, seriously, if you are experiencing or know someone that is experiencing um, domestic abuse at home or in the workplace or in school or anywhere, please speak out. Seek out help. Uh, the number at the end of this video is important. Also, um, you can always call 911 and get the authorities involved. Um, if you see it, you're responsible for it. Don't forget that. And um, yeah, it's um, this is an important message, you know. It, 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 just because things seem one way doesn't mean they are. So keep your eyes open, keep your heart open. My name is Old School Nerd, and we'll see you on the next one. Man, this. Oof. I gotta go.